Okay, all right. So today we are going to talk about uh, square root equations. Now you might think, what does that mean, right? But it's actually the um, exact opposite of a radical equation. So let me show you what that means, okay? So let's go. Okay, all right. So what are square root equations? All right, so one of the things I want to, the way I want to start by doing that is by showing you something from yesterday okay which is this right now think about this if we were to solve this again right where we have to square both sides right here we would have 9x squared minus 11 and then that would be 25 right now here we'll just keep solving we'll divide so here's the, the conundrum or the lesson that I really want to get through to you also. So today's lesson has two main ideas. The first thing is something that's actually called positive and negative square root. So one of, one of the things one of the things that you guys have been told up to this point is that if you were to ask yourself, right, what number multiplied by itself would give you four? Everyone would say two. But here's the thing. I mean, now that you went through seventh grade and you know how to multiply and divide and add and subtract your positive and negative numbers, what's another number that when multiplied by itself will give you also positive four besides just two times two? Yeah, negative two times negative two. So in other words, Every time you where any any time you take a square root from a realistic point of view, it's not just the positive factors that makes it happen. It's also the negative factors. So that means that every time we take a square root, there are actually two answers. The positive version of that answer and the negative version. Now the way we write that is rewrite the plus minus like this and that would be sufficient as an answer unless they tell you explicitly to write it out okay all right know that now okay now let's take a look at this so here's the question then right what does this how does this make it an equation same thing <coughs> we only want one letter equaling to number now in this case it's not one number anymore it's two numbers okay but the, but the rules generally didn't change, right? Because we only want one letter. We want x. We don't want 2x. We don't want x over 5. We don't want x squared either. So what do we do? We take the square root of both sides, right? So look at what we did uh, the day before. The day before, you know how I gave you the square root and then I have you guys square it, right? Like that was the lesson. Today we're doing the opposite. It's the other way of looking at it, which is I give you the square, the second power, and you have to take the square root back out to make this into an x. Okay, so what times what gives you 36? Positive six and negative six. And that's how you do these sort of questions. Okay, now, um, so again to re-emphasize right the plus minus sign like this right means that we have two roots okay you got to get used to that that uh that uh, phrasing okay so they are the roots of the solutions right of the equation okay listen right i said i said in plural form right solutions right okay all right so let's see now here, uh, if you want to, you can practice real quick. All right, try to finish before I do. What would be the answer here? Right, plus negative four. Now, remember with equations, right? When you add on one side, you have to add on the other. When you multiply on one side, you have to multiply on the other, right? And yesterday, it was when you square, take the second power of one side, you have to take the second power of another. Today is this. When you take the square root of one side, you have to take the square root of the other. Okay, so we're not, we're not doing anything different here. 
Okay, the rules didn't change overnight. Now, look at this one. This one's interesting, right? Square root of five. Well, five's not a perfect square, so how would you write that? What do you think? Yeah, it's the square root of five with the plus minus sign in the front, and that's sufficient, okay? There's nothing more you can do about this. Okay, got that? Okay, all right, let's practice a little. Let me show you a few more examples. Okay, because it was never going to be just that easy. So take a look, right? Here we got this whole thing here with the square. So again, what we're thinking about is actually we're still, the game never changed. We still want to isolate the x. It's just that we got a second power here. That's extra. So what are we going to do? Take the square root of this whole thing. Okay, so what, what, would, that, what would happen? Once you take the square root, this guy here, the exponent, no longer exists. So all we're left with is x minus 2 equals and then uh, positive and negative 7. Now, stop right there. If we, if you see this, right? So I think, I think I know what some of you might be thinking. You might think, hey, you know, that's just a 7, right? And then I'll add 2. Right, and that'll be nine, but that's, you're not wrong, but you're half, you're, you're half right only. Why? Remember what I just said about having a positive and negative square root of seven? So that means now you got two equations going on. Watch this. Equation one. Equation one is the one you, you were just thinking, right? The positive seven. There's a second equation now. So this is where we're really venturing into high school territory. Like in high school, you have to you have to be able to think like this. Where when you solve equations with square roots, you're gonna get positive and negative answers. Okay, so that's x minus two equals to negative seven. See that, right? Just as there were two solutions here in all these questions, right? positive and negative four, positive and negative nine, positive and negative square root of five. There are two solutions here. It's just that at this stage right here, you need to split this step up into two separate equations, okay? And now you can solve both of them. So that cancels out. That's nine uh, plus two cancels out. Let's see, what is that? x equals to negative, so negative 5. So now you have two solutions. Now, the way we write that in math is we just write it like this. All right, you can write 9, negative 5. Or if you want to put them in order, negative 5, 9. Okay, now let's see if we're right, right? Let's see if this is even true. So if I substitute a 9 here, let me erase this. So if I substitute a nine here, let's use a different color, let's use green, let's use red, right? If I substitute here, so let's say this was a nine, nine minus two, seven, seven squares, 49, that's true. What if I use another, the other number? Uh, what is it, negative five, right? Negative five minus two is negative seven, negative seven squared, yep, positive 49, still true. See that, okay, all right, now, Let's do one more together and then I'll let you practice with some regions questions actually. Anything interesting here? Okay, why don't you try this one on your own? Okay, so if you want, press pause. Otherwise, you can work alongside with me. Okay, you can just mute the, mute the speakers. All right, and then we can just do this one together. Save some time. So I take the square root of both sides. So these are my answers. Okay, all right. Now let me show you one more variation of these sort of questions, okay? So hopefully you, by the way, when you do this, put it in your notebook because as soon as I scroll down, when you're solving these, you might not be able to use, uh, you have no examples or notes to look back on. So that's not good practice. Okay, oh, actually, 
I really want to show you this one. Okay, so try this on your own. See if you can do it. Okay. All right. Take the square root. Now here, watch this. Seven's not a perfect square, so I'm stuck with this. So here's the question, right? What do I do? By the way, first of all, it's a plus minus, right? Plus negative, positive negative, right? All you can do at this point is just pretend to keep trying. You see what I did there, right? The positive uh, square root of seven, the negative square root of seven. Again, I'm gonna keep pretending that there's something I can even do about this. So here, right, I got five plus square root of seven. Now, you could write uh, um, the square root of seven plus five, but typically people tend to write like this. Okay, so that the whole number comes first. Now, how do we write the other one? Same thing. So it would be x equals to five minus square root of seven. Now, typically, I just gotta say, when it comes to these, people tend to write the answers like this. All right. They tend to write like that. I rarely see people like put these in, you know, uh, brackets or, uh, you know, yeah. Oh, I almost, almost always see it like this, okay? Just in my experience, okay? All right, I know I'm moving fast, so if you got questions, you gotta let me know. Okay, now let's see. Now I wanna try this one. Notice, right? This looks like any old equation, except for the fact that you got that little second power here. So again, the, the, the rules of the game don't change. We still gotta isolate the x. I just wanna know what x is. I don't care about anything else. So I'm gonna subtract three on both sides. Cancels out two x squared equals to what is that? One twenty-eight. Right. So far, so good. I'm just solving good old like two, three-step equation. That's all I'm doing. Divide both sides by two, right? Because I just want the x squared, at least for now. What is that? A sixty-four. You see what I'm doing here, right? Nothing crazy, right? Okay, just like what we did ten minutes ago. X is positive and negative eight. And that's it, okay? Why don't you try this one on your own, okay? And uh, you can mute the uh, speakers and then uh, go from there. All right, see if you can finish before I can. Okay, and that's it. Now, this one's tough. If you can do this, all right, you can pat yourself on the back, all right? Because this has like a, a host of uh, steps in it. All right, oh, well, we're already, okay guys, I'm gonna tell you now, this video is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Just wanna let you know, okay? All right. Now, if you wanna, you know, just pause and uh, try it on your own, be my guest. All right, well, I'm almost done, but wow, that's a lot of, uh, that's an insane amount of steps for an equation. Okay, all right, and that's it. So if you got something wrong, just look up, all right? I got all the steps right, hopefully. Okay, and uh, yeah, okay. All right, one, one more on this, and then I'm gonna show you the regions questions. Okay, okay so again, either you press pause or mute the speakers and, uh, Compare answer your answer with mine when you're done. Oh, this one's crazy. This one is so crazy. Okay, all right. 
Okay, you see why this is crazy, right? Because eight's not a perfect square, but it's all right. You guys can do it. So that means we're going to what? Subtract seven from both sides. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be adventurous and write it like this. So here, that means at the end I got negative seven plus or minus square root of eight. Okay, not easy, not easy. If you can do this in the first go, all right, that's a good job for you. Okay, kudos to you. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna move on and show you the regions questions. So here we got some regions questions. Now there are actually one, two, three, four. There are four questions here right off the bat. First one, two. Oh no, it's not even. It's actually five. Now, I want to point out to you this word here. Just caught the uh, just caught my eye. Quadratic. So all the equations that you're solving right now, even like these sort of like two-step equations or distribution property equation variables on both sides, there's a name for that. They're all linear equations. You will realize that uh, in about two months not really, like a month, right? That these equations all look like a straight line. That's why they're called linear equations. Anything with a second power, like this, that's a quadratic equation. So the line, right, that's, that's an equation, that's the equation. Quadratic equation, so the lines are not straight, okay? We'll get, we'll get way deeper into that later on okay but for now don't don't get too caught up okay all right let's see so let's see what's the game plan here all right so press pause right now when you come back i'm going to show you all the uh, all the end wait hold on is there a choice four here yeah okay there's a choice four for number five okay when you come back uh i will show you the answer key okay so press pause right now Okay, all right, and we're back. Now I shouldn't I should have used different colors for each of the questions because now it just looked like one big mess. But I did circle the answers. Okay, the last one, uh I want you to pay attention to the last one. Look at the choices, right? You might have expected something like this as one of the choices, right? But it wasn't. But look at the other ones. These are all wrong choices. And that's actually true. So a solution. They didn't say all the solutions, right? A solution. So technically, this is this is still correct, right? Okay. All right. I'm gonna move on now. How many more questions? Oh my god. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's try these. Oh, oh wow. They're all together. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So let's see. I gotta shrink these. Hold on. All right, so I fixed them up a little bit. So press pause right now, try these, okay? And when you come back, I'll show you the answer key. Okay, so press pause right now. Okay, all right, and we're back. So let's see, um, anything to talk about here? Not much except for, uh, very interesting for number eight. You know how these really, really tough, the toughest of these questions for today? They didn't ask you to solve it all the way to the end, right? They just ask you what's the next step, and so that's the next step. Okay, all right, I'm gonna move down a little more. All right, last three questions. So let's see, let me shrink these. Now, this last one's really tough, okay, just so you know. All right, um, let's see. So what is that, 9, 10, 11, okay. So uh, again, press pause. Now, this one's tough, so give it a try. If you can, I'll explain, okay? All right, press pause right now. Okay, all right, so I decided, so these are the two answers. I decided to do the last one with you because this, this question is a little bit too early for you guys, but I figure you guys, some of you guys might be very curious as to what this is even about. Okay, so again, we got a quadratic equation here, right, with a t squared. Um, 
Now they want to see where it is between one and two seconds, right? So that means they want you to substitute. Okay, again, if you don't, if you didn't understand it, don't worry too much about it. I just wanted to show this to you. So all you have to do is substitute. So where t is one, right? This is what happened. All right, probably, probably didn't have to sh show you this question. Okay, all right. So let's see what is that. 144 minus 16, that's 120, let's see, uh, I don't even want to think about it right now, let's see, 144 minus 16, yep, 128, so, 128, what is that, in feet, right, where the time was 2 seconds, I'm just going to substitute, so this is a two-part question, okay, and this was on a region's, uh, not, not too, uh, not too long ago. So 2, 2 is 4. So negative 16 times 4. That's negative 64 plus 144 is 80. So it's 80 feet. So what's the difference? Do they want... How many feet did the object fall between 1 and 2? So it's uh, 48 feet, right? Because you just subtract them. Now, this is really what we're doing today. Determine algebraically to reach the ground. So when... Now, think about it, right? When something reached the ground, what's the height in feet? Yeah, zero. So watch this. This is what they're talking about. This is what they want to get you to do. Uh, oops, plus 144. You see that? Right? Oops, that's it. There's a T there, right? So that means they want you to solve for T. That's all this means, which you are more than capable of now by today's lesson by the end of today's lesson. All right, you see what I'm doing here, right? Nothing, nothing you can't do actually. So that's t squared with 144 divided by 16. Nine, up, oh, see, there you go. Now, this is somewhat interesting though, all right? And I know I'm going like way over the time, so I'll try to make tomorrow's, yeah, to make, tomorrow's video is gonna be like much shorter actually. So that's good. All right, now I feel better. Right? Now, think about this, right? Time is seconds, right? Is it possible for you to have this as an answer? Yeah, no, you can't, you can't have negative seconds. Time doesn't go backwards, right? So that's it. Your only answer, acceptable answer is three, positive three. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stop today, okay? so. I know it's a little bit long, so thanks for sticking around, and uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, all right, bye-bye. OMG, that was so good.